Hey everyone, Michelle Lim here, your favorite neighborhood comedian. I'm back in pog form. I've been away for a little while. I was in Sydney for a couple of weeks um, trying to get a new visa because I changed jobs. Um, and I tried to make a video when I was over there, but I got too distracted because everybody wanted to visit me because uh, I'm so popular. So uh, yeah, but it's back. I'm back now. It's really nice to be here. And thank you for your patience when I uh, was away. I'm I'm still I'm still dismayed that nobody didn't get a flood of emails being like the people need you, Michelle. You need to make another YouTube video for your mom to watch. Anyway, um, I wanted to give a shout out to my new subscribers. So we have WPDHS, DCD, Robin, David S, Andrew, Cameron, Albert, um, Hrithiraj, Sal, a large to charge, and Abu. Thank you so much for subscribing. I'm very uh, excited that you're on this journey with us. So um, I was in Australia, I really like it there, and um, obviously I was like catching up with all my friends, eating lots of yummy food, and I noticed that we don't have the same types of restaurants in um, San Francisco that we do in Australia, and that's quite nice because it gives me the chance to like, you know, um, you know, uh, just like, eat lots of different types of food while I'm in San Francisco and also when I'm in Australia. So one of the foods that I really like is Filipino food, and there's not that much Filipino food in Sydney that I know of, but in um, San Francisco there's actually quite a lot, which is actually really cool. And I have heaps of Filipi Filipino friends over here. Um, you know, some of them know Tagalog, and some of them just prefer to do their own thing. So that's cool. Um, I hope you got my joke. It was a bit of a long intro, but um, today what I wanted to talk about was catching the audience unaware or doing a more conversational approach to uh, start your comedy because a lot of the times. Uh, when I start my comedy, I just go like, hey guys, I'm Michelle, I'm from Sydney. Hey, what's the deal with Sydney people? Blah, blah, blah. Well, you know, not as obvious as that, but there's a clear start to the, the beginning of my comedy act. Whereas when I was in Sydney, I was able to see a couple of comedy shows because it was a Sydney comedy festival and I really liked it. And one of the guys uh, who I'm a big fan of, Jacques Barrett, he does this approach where he um, will just start having a conversation with the audience and he'll sometimes tie he'll somehow tie the beginning of his introduction on his comedy show into the conversation. So it just sounds like it's an impromptu off the cuff remark. Um, Jacques probably watching it being like, that was an off the cuff remark, but this is how I'm imagining he does it. So he basically ties in some sort of uh, remark into his comedy show and that's how he starts it. And then he just goes from there. And that was really cool to watch because it was very seamless and very smooth. And I was kind of like, has the show started already? Because it's really funny, but I'm not sure if like he's planned this or if this is just his normal kind of um, behavior. But I have a feeling that, uh, and maybe I'm wrong, but I really like this approach. I have a feeling that he kind of um, made it seem like it was just a conversation, but he'd actually just started his comedy show. Um, and that was really cool and that's something that I definitely want to try in future is to try this conversational approach to starting the comedy. Um, I think it has a couple of benefits. I think that it kind of um, makes the audience very relaxed uh, and 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 settle into the show because, you know, it, it makes you seem more approachable and personable because you're having a conversation with the audience. And it also catches them off guard and it's kind of like it makes the joke even more funny because you're like, oh, the show hasn't even started yet and he's already so funny, you know, like... Imagine when he gets to his actual material, it's going to be even more funny. So that was really cool as well. So that's my um, tip for you guys this week. Try it out. Let me know what you think. I'm excited um, to hear back from you guys. And I'm going to be making another video straight after this to make up for lost time. So thank you so much. And I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.